Guys, what's up? What's happening in Trinidad and Tobago? It's good to be back with you. What am I hearing about Trinidad and Tobago now? A criminal war zone? A councilwoman actually declared Trinidad a criminal war zone following the shooting of a police woman? This is a hell of a thing. Let's go to that story because I don't know. Leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what's taking place down there in Trinidad. It says TNT now a criminal war zone. This isn't good at all. The shooting of WPC Queen Mahba has left residents of her Kelly Village Corona community in fear. This is according to Kelly Village Warrenville Councillor Kamala Pago, who said the shooting had left residents shocked and it demonstrated there was a need for enhanced security measures in the community. Our citizens are growing increasingly fearful for their safety and we cannot afford to delay. Protection and peace of mind of our Residents must be a priority, she said in a statement on Tuesday. Mahaba's condition continued to improve. She remains a patient at the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex in Mount Hope. Police sources said the 30-year-old officer who was shot in the head and the chest on Tuesday morning at her home in Hydraulic Road, Kelly Village, was visited by friends and colleagues yesterday. Apparently, I mean, when you start shooting police officers, I get sick and tired of society like that. I mean, these are law enforcement people. As much as you want to talk about them, when criminals start shooting police officers, we are definitely in a different zone. And we have to get rid of these criminals by any means necessary. Mahaba was part of a contingent representing the TNT Police Service Band in the Bahamas and the United States. She returned to the country early Tuesday morning and was shot outside her home shortly after being picked up at the Piaco International Airport. So somebody apparently was waiting for her and apparently knew her movement but i will call on the ttps to install a police post in the community well definitely you should after something like that my thoughts and prayers are with Mahaba and her family during the difficult time and we all hope for her full recovery the incident highlights the urgent need for enhanced security measures in our area i'm once again calling on the trinidad and tobago police service to fulfill their promise of establishing a police post in kelly village power that should have been on the agenda since the night she was shot since the time she was shot actually Corona East Member of Parliament, Dr. Rashid Sekaran, also made a call for a police post, which I agree with them, absolutely. And man it properly, he also wants more CCTV closed circuit television cameras to be installed in the community which police would have access to. When you have CCTV cameras, people say police are intruding on their, uh, their privacy, actually. But I think it's a good thing, actually, especially when you start getting into an area where people are calling a criminal war zone. I mean, the country, this is, this is bad. Shikaran asked police to target known hotspots areas where drugs and other organized crime operated. You need to, you need to. They had to do something and do it pretty fast. Pretty, pretty fast. I don't like this at all. But leave your comments in the section below. But you know, crime is not only Trinidad. I just want to get that straight. It's all across the Caribbean. It's happening. And then I saw this other disheartening story coming out of Trinidad where they were saying schools boy. Schoolboys rob store bandits dressed in uniform steal eighty thousand dollars. This police are searching for two bandits who disguise themselves in school uniforms to carry out a robbery at clothing store in Chaguanas on Tuesday. The police reported the description of the suspects was two men of African descent. You guys always put yourself in things. Both fair skinned and who were each dressed in long khaki pants, white school shirts with a light green logo on the shirt pocket. The robbery occurred at the plus size exclusive in Price Plaza. What if that? Plus, plus size. What are they doing there? Bye-bye. A police report stated at around 11.30 a.m. The two men who were dressed in school uniforms entered the establishment and announced a robbery. Two female sales clerks who were in the store were forced into a lunchroom located at the back of the store where their personal handbags were stored. The victims told the police that the bandits dealt them several blows while demanding money. The victims' hands and feet were also tied in clothing, clothing from the store. You see, this is what I can't take. When you have people who apparently are saying, look, if you're going to rob, just rob. It's a bad thing, but it's, it's, it's really, if you're going to do that, do that. Leave people alone. You have no need to go tie up these people, putting blows on them. I mean, when the police catch these people, I don't have no sympathy at all for them. Whatever they want to do, do it them. If they don't come back in alive, too bad. The bandits stole $80,000, a quantity of gold jewelry, two Guyanese passports, identification cards, and a phone valued at 2500 What the hell do you want a Guyanese passport for if you're Trinidadian? Are you Guyanese? Wow. This is, I mean, all this is just not necessary. The robbers walked out of the store and escaped report was made to the police of course well i mean when they catch these people just do whatever you need to do with them take them to the court and the judicial system just hands them a nice time so to speak and that's where the problem is coming for so the judicial system has to take some responsibility for crime too 
Because when you catch these people, you take them to the court, you're expecting, after all, they're part of society, they know what's happening. Yes, follow the law, hand the harshest punishment to them. Sometimes they throw the book at them, throw the book at them, but they keep giving them an easy time. And that's that's contributing to the problem as well. So there's need for reform all around. But anyway, Trinidad and Tobago, I mean, the councilman says it's a criminal war zone. I don't fully agree with that statement, but I mean, it's pretty bad. Leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys, take it easy. Have a great weekend.